today we are playing the Hemstick Man and Collection. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know if I've played this before. I don't remember playing it. Well, I might have played the Flash version. Well, this is a Flash game. You know what I mean, right? Alright, let's play Breaking the Bank. Oh, and we're right into it. Uh, disguise, laser, shovel, explosives. That's just a wow. Handle with care. <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's see how the teleporter turns out. Oh. Cactus. It's emergent technology, I'm sure it will <laughs> Let's go. Lazy ass. You guys, I already know a couple things about this. Open sesame. Well, technically you did open it. You can get in. That is if you're still alive, Henry, but yeah. And also, sorry for the black lines on the screen. Yeah. Um, level, I guess. Legend of Zelda. Gas main. <laughs> Stop that. Oh, wait, that was actually an achievement. I actually could. Huh. Never dig straight down, but I actually didn't think I was going to be able to do that. Now, Wrecking Ball, which will be amazing, or a boring disguise. And, yeah, guys, I know how to get bios. <laughs> Pen Pentafall. There's no construction scheduled for today. <laughs> Wait, how do you tie the knot from the outside of the bag? Look. Eh? How did we lose one? I think we should throw it in the back. Just to be safe. You ever wonder why there's a bank out here? Mm, well, I think it's supposed to be like more of a vault, you know? Oh, oh that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Escaping the prison. Oh, you. You're free to go. <laughs> Aww. Not really. Aww. But you've got a package. Don't get Bra your hopes hey, up. Said We've already checked it for anything useful, haven't we, Dave? What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course I checked it. I mean, if I didn't check it, I'd lose my job. Not only lose my job. <laughs> Seriously, Dave? See you around. Three you can't lose your job. And I say thank you for that because it helps. Mm. <laughs> Sorry for being not on that one. Okay. You can use a file. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit doing this. So. And I am back. I, I've been doing this for a little bit. It's very nice. If you play that over and over again, then I bet someone will have to go to the bathroom. I am the only YouTuber to ever do that. Mm, 
tiny mode. Vector Tiger by Vector. I want to use a rocket launcher. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Brooke. Oh. That looked painful. That, that was pain. That looked painful. That, that used to teleporter. Hmm. You cannot. Hmm. Oh, the cell phone. What's that gonna do? Oh! Our one call. Oh, it turns. Oh! Witness, please continue your testimony. Okay. I was riding alongside my partner in the armored man, but suddenly. We spotted a bag on the side of the road. We got out and eventually decided to throw the bag in with the others. We didn't know there was someone hiding in there. Objection! So, the defendant oh, crawled into Phoenix that bag right. in order to break into the bank. Is that correct? Is it not obvious? Is it really that obvious? I have proof that the defendant didn't hide himself in that bag. Well then, what are you waiting for? Present this evidence already. Okay. I'm going to look through all of these and... Uh, all right. All right. So, attorney's badge. It's my all-important badge. It shows that I am a defense attorney. Present Take that. that. What is this? It's evidence. And how exactly does this prove anything? Well, I, <laughs> I was just kidding. Let me try. This is no time for jokes. I see no reason to further prolong this trial. I find the defendant, Henry Popcorn. Stickman. Aww. Popcorn. Well, that's my mouse. All right. So, I guess we'll just go like this. The bag the defendant used to sneak into the bank. The knot is tied on the outside of the bag. Yeah, just like I said earlier. How is it tied on the outside of the bag when he was inside the bag? Wow. Take that! Is, is that the bag the defendant hid in? Yes, yeah. but there's one thing that's been bothering me. If the defendant really was hiding in this bag, then... How did he tie the knot from the outside of the bag? If he was inside the bag, it'd be impossible for him to tie that knot on the outside. But then, how did he do it? It's simple. He didn't. Wow. What are you saying? I'm saying my client wasn't hiding in that bag at all. He was stuffed in there. By this very witness! As you can see by this doctor's analysis, the defendant had taken quite the beating. While he was in the bag, he was unconscious. This is absurd. The witness was attempting to dispose of the body. He left the defendant in the bag, knowing he'd drive by it on the way back to the bank. When the witness and his partner passed the bag, he convinced his partner to throw the bag in with the others. Wow. But, but why would he do that? Why, to dispose of the body, of course. There are millions of bags of money in that bank, and the witness knew it would take a long time before the victim was found. But unfortunately for the witness, his victim woke up and tried to escape from his tomb. He was arrested on the spot, and the witness thought everything was over. But it's come back to haunt him now, you guys can't, you can't, this, this, this can't be happening to me! Yes, it is. Well, that certainly was an interesting trial. However, I am now ready to deliver my verdict. I find I the defendant, the Henry side. Stickman. Yay! Thank you, Mr. Ace Attorney. Ah, oh, I thought there were more. Alright, lawyer it up. Hmm. Unique fails. Where's the map? 
Oh. Now, guys, I'm gonna look through all of these to see if they're different. I'm just gonna quickly show you what they say. Then I'm gonna do it. I'll let you guys know if any of the end. There's a never ending from it. So yeah. Okay. Why don't you guys just read through that? All right. Moving on. And remember, you can pause it. All right, I'm just gonna pause this and I'll get back to you guys after all of this, just, and I'll let you guys know if anything different happens. All right, so I went through all of these. Every single one except the disguise bag just leads to the exact same fail as the attorney's badge. I got some bio. That Felix White, Dane Slot, hailing from a foreign country. This is his first time in a big city. He works at Sandwich City and enjoys his free sandwich for lunch every day. Steve Stevens grinds away at his office job daily. He dreams of owning a pizza shop. Vladimir Winston. And the ever infamous and Mr. Friend. Alright, so that's uh, we've done two of these. Let's do energy drink. Or N <laughs> What's going on here? So what's going on there? And what else? Energy side effects include nausea, headaches, rapid heartache, and possibilities of stroke or heart attack. Well, that's good to know. Hey, I did do the tall order already. Why, I guess? Ah. I saw the window. Well, we saw that. We saw that the window was high up, so I'm gonna go window. <laughs> Don't ask why. I just want to see every fail. <laughs> Wait. Look there. There is... There's no window, so that might not be a cell. We could go down there. We could, but... I want to see what this other thing for file is. Ah. Hmm? Who is that ever Oh, I don't know. Hey, he's escaping. Ah, uh, tight. Oh, he's escaping. Which one will be better at defending yourself? A belt of grenades? Oh, sir. One belt of grenades. Yo, check yourself. What the? <laughs> that's pretty funny. <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty funny. I don't even know what to say about that one. Eeny, me, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he goes left, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. 
I don't know why I just want to go left. I, I. Nay, shut up, janitor. You don't count. Now the next one on the. And there we go. Oh, yeah. oh, I thought it was a rope parachute. Wow, that was nice. Yeah. Now look, you're back. <laughs> nah. That was so nat. That was so like casual, as if he's already seen it before. Now let's just do a uh, good old fashioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There goes my tools. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's just a regular backpack. See what happens when you zoom. Now, which one? Now, I've learned about the jump option is probably the one that works, so I'm gonna go with the rope. Oh. Ah, ah. Wait. Uh, Did it work? Uh, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Seems awfully familiar. Yeah. Good dog. No, no, don't do that. See, so you the dumbest option. Usually it's the right one. I I heard one more thing. In the Probably just play on one side. Yo, walk right through wall, gadget game. Just move the blue slider to the right and you'll become as opaque. I mean, seafood for all you uneducated folks as you want. Not only that, but the more opaque you get, the easier it will be for you to pass through solid objects. Whee! Huh? Yeah, 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 no. Yeah. Huh. Probably. Uh, well, hello. Uh. Say hello to my little uh, friend. I don't say that because that guy's got it. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Try dodging the bullets. Hopefully, Well, brawl reference. Oh, I think I got that. Or Oh, that, that's what that guy is. Ready for what?
think that's a perfect way to end on this episode, guys. Alright, I hope you guys have, um, uh, have enjoyed watching this. I might go to the next one. <laughs> Actually, wait, let me see. Yeah, next episode, I'll do Stealing the Diamond, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. Uh, so let me just see what's in there. Oh, clear day to play it. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!